realized when I became an artist here, after moving here in 2004, and I became an artist shortly thereafter, that I'm really interested in the details of everything. And, it, and as a visual person, I'm always trying to um, see details that others might just pass by. And of course, then I try to photograph them or paint them. And um, so it was key to me to actually think of a name that related to that, and that's kind of why I came up with Austin Details, to be you know, a painter, photographer, etc. And now that I've decided to open the gallery as a way to both show my work and also offer exhibit opportunities to other artists, again, it's all about the details. So um, it led me into an awful lot of things, such as where to locate. And this has been a process for me of over a year trying to decide where to be, but ultimately it was pretty clear that I wanted to be downtown where the art is. And of course there's art all around Austin, but um, this is a central core for art with a MOA being on one corner, the Paramount on the other side of me, the art house at the Jones Center just down the street, um, another great gallery that's been here a while, Authenticity up the street on Congress and a little further down Mexicarte Museum and um, I just have a lot of hope for this area as being a vibrant art, downtown art location. Um, and so that led me into trying to be right here, finding the right space for, to be here, and of course finding what's affordable. And um, what I'm really hoping to do to make it affordable and also to give a lot of exhibit opportunities is um, give artists business skills that I had to learn in order to be an artist and promote myself and um, offer them opportunities to both exhibit their work and then market their work and then learn from workshops and then be a part of a scene that's um, an actual gallery so that they don't have to show their art in coffee shops or bank lobbies where the bank tellers probably aren't very um, interested in promoting their art but when customers come in here, I'm very interested in promoting, you know, everyone's art because I'm a fan of art. <laughs> so um, I guess that kind of sums up why I want to be here and what I'm doing with the space and trying to make it a very multi-purpose, um, both business center, exhibit space, and art gallery. I think that um, the collecting market is changing because the, the people who traditionally collected things, either, either looking at it from a collection standpoint or just looking at it as fantastic art to grace their homes or their, um, their offices and they wanted it to be meaningful. I think that dynamic is changing as younger and younger art enthusiasts come along and they're very aware of new media, as we were talking earlier, they're very aware of video, and they're very aware of, aware of all kinds of new ways to present your work that's not just hanging art on a wall as a traditional gallery would do. So I want to take advantage of that. I want to bridge that uh, divide and be both traditional, have some traditional aspects to hanging art, obviously, but also be able to display art on a, I have a 60 inch plasma HD TV that will have slideshows and videos of artists' work available and, and it can even do workshop instruction and uh, uh, you know, instruction in, in you know, programs artists are interested in. Um, I want to be able to have a website where artists can both show their work, show their videos, and also do e-commerce, because that's increasingly important. And then I wanted to have, and then I, of course I've got a printer that is a fine art printer. And it's uh, an Epson 9900, it'll print 44 inches wide with archival inks, using archival paper, and uh, so I'd like to have that going on while people are in here. So people are having a fun, you know, multi-layered experience when they're in here. And if they're collectors, uh, as a former collector, I was always fascinated by the process of art, meeting the artist, and having a story to walk away from my art purchase. I didn't want to buy just, you know, something from Pier 1. I wanted to actually have a story to tell when I, you know, I, an experience. It's important. and. Um, I think what's great for collectors is if they come in here and they have a great experience and they walk away with a cool story to tell, they're more likely to want to hang the art in their home and then when visitors come over they can tell that story about that cool piece of art and how they acquired it and why. And so I want to offer everybody that who comes in here that experience either 
the art creators or the art enthusiasts or the um, collectors. And look at the rebirth of downtown Austin. The people here now are, you know, their whole younger generation, and maybe they are, haven't started families yet, but I'm sure they will one day. And um, during this time, it's a great time for them to get more experienced at looking at art, kind of refining their tastes, seeing what they want, and making it a part of the life that they lead downtown. So, uh, you know, they're getting younger, they, they behave in more dynamically ways than the old traditional suburban art collector. Um, and so I want to do some, you know, have, have a lot of events here, a lot of activity here that would appeal to them. As a creative person, I'm always fascinated by how the businesses or the signage got where it got. And um, I was really delighted, I guess it was last year I was exhibiting um, at Art City, the annual art festival that we have here in April. And a couple walked in who began looking at all my Vanishing Austin images and talking about how um, they were, oh, they said, oh, we made that sign, and look, we made that sign. And that was really special to me because it turned out they were um, Sharon and Greg, the owners of Ion Art, and they actually have designed and built a lot of the neon and the great signage that we have around here. And of course they do it for creative small businesses who want something really special on their building. They just don't want an everyday sign. So um, when I realized that you know, I was going around photographing all the signs that they creative, it created, it was a natural partnership to me, and uh, I actually had them build a sign for Austin Details Art and Photo also. Photography will be a big important thing here. I think it's, um, photography is always a harder sell to a collector, so part of my mission really is to present photography in ways that make it look as though it's fine art. Um, and part of that comes in printing it archivally and doing a beautiful job printing it. My, Epson 9900 printer will print in 12 ink colors, you know, including the finishes. And there are an array of beautiful archival and fine art papers that can be chosen. And it can really be kind of dazzling to print something that way, whether it's a, paint, uh, whether it's a painting, a photograph of a painting in order to sell it as a reproduction, or a photograph. And I'm hoping to hold an awful lot of juried thematic shows. Um, I'll start to put them up on my website and put a calendar up soon. And pretty much once a month, uh, except for in summer months or maybe January, we'll be doing a show where I'm going to encourage all kinds of artists to contribute. And uh, that way we can have kind of a changing uh, theme going on here all the time and new exciting art coming in and it'll, it'll be an interesting, vibrant place for people to come and see what's happening.